Hey everybody, welcome to the buzz. And I'm about to rant about another YouTuber and about a subscriber. Stay tuned if you want to hear it. I've got a rant today. Hey everybody, welcome to the buzz. I'm getting in my car. I'm at my nephew's and I'm going to pick up my prescription. Now, I'm really kind of a little bit ticked today because I was watching a YouTuber and the YouTuber was talking about me but didn't say my name and bitching and complaining about how I went through the drive-thru. How I went through the drive-thru. So thanks for watching my video that you saw that I went through the drive-thru, drive uh, but that you saw my video. But what you bitched and complained about, you know, it's really disappointing. I'm very disappointed because you know what? I edit my videos. I watch your live feeds, which is all you do, um, I don't see that you do anything but live feeds, so that's probably why you didn't realize that I edit things out. So when you criticized me, criticized me for going through the drive through did you even look at any point to see whether or not you saw me touching anything? You didn't, because at no time did I ever show you me touching the bag as the young man handed it to me at the drive through of Portello's. Oh, you didn't even hear me offer him some sanitation, but did you hear me say stay six feet away? Maybe, maybe not. Listen. How's it going? Okay, how are you? Six feet. I'm good, thank you. What can six I get for feet, you? six feet. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I want a hot dog with mustard and onions. Maybe, maybe not because maybe you just wanted to criticize me today because it seems like this is the second person that I've, I personally was watching your, your live feed when I heard you say this stuff, which really shocked me because I promoted your channel on my channel. You know, YouTubers gotta stick together so I promote other people's channels. So, um, you didn't say my name, so you didn't give me good publicity or bad publicity, but now anybody who watches me and watches you is gonna know who it was. Yes, RV Rebel Girl. And I was criticized on a live feed today by a YouTuber who does only live feeds and doesn't obviously have a knowledge about um, editing, etc. So when I went through the drive through at Portillo's, I never touched the bag with my bare hands, okay? And actually offered the young man hand sanitizer. First, I asked him to stand six feet back and I laughed about it. And then and I offered him hand sanitizer, oops, the, 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 hand sanitizer after we exchanged money, okay? Although you didn't realize I had gloves on. He didn't. Well, he had winter gloves on because it was cold outside, but he was dealing with change, okay? So, when I took my gloves off, which you didn't see that either because I pulled over after I picked up my food at the window, which you didn't see me pick up my food at the window. So you don't know what I touched and what I had on my hands. When I pulled over and stopped the car, and then you see me eating, well, by that time, I had already hand sanitized my hands, sprayed my bag down with alcohol that I carry in my car with me because, oh, by the way, this is 91% alcohol, rubbing isophora alcohol, that I spray down my packages that I get from Amazon, my mail, the, um, the, the uh, thingies on the bank drive through. Yes, I do. I carry it with me. And not only that, because I, I always have this because I use it to sanitize my nail equipment and all that other stuff because I am a 
or was a hairdresser. I'm a retired hairdresser. Oh, just like you, right? You're a hairdresser, I think. Yeah. So I sanitize all my stuff. I even have those little pills that you stick in the little heater thing and you can put your towels in there to sanitize them in there. Yeah, I know all about sanitation. And as a first responder, retired police officer, first responder, I didn't leave home without my gloves. I used to carry them right inside my vest, two or three pairs. And often I'd stick them in my back pocket, but then you'd see these white powder marks on my ass. Yes. So let me show you where I keep my gloves as I'm getting in my car today. Hold on. Okay, oops, there they are, right here. Gee, you know, because as a, a traveling RVer, I use those gloves and I usually buy them at Costco's and I usually get two boxes shrink wrapped together and each box has 200 gloves in them because I use them when I have to go empty my shitter, my black tank and my gray tank. When I walk the dog, sometimes I use them. And I didn't see you turn your gloves inside out to keep the germs on the inside instead of the outside, but you didn't see me calling you on the carpet about it. So really, you know, I'm really kind of hurt because I, um, I'm really disappointed because I really was watching all your videos and you know, I don't think that you spray every single article that you bring in your house. Maybe you want to show everybody all that stuff because maybe you, I don't know why you think it's necessary. I certainly, so I certainly don't think it's necessary for me to share with other people every itty bitty little thing that I do in my journey to make a video unless I'm making a video video about it like for example when I made my video about canning my butter gee you didn't mention that I was at the sink for like more than the necessary time needed to wash my hands before I cooked cooked something that was gonna be for me only you know but then again you wouldn't have got the criticism factor on there. I just, I just so hurt that you did that. Because anybody that watches you and watches me, we have many followers that are the same. Knows exactly who you were talking about. That's really disappointing. I even tried to order your product. Now I'm wondering, how can I support this, this YouTuber who does not support me and is critical about things that they didn't research? Yes, I'll tell you. I wonder if you're really just the pot calling the kettle black. I don't know. Because, you know, like I said, I was about to order your products and even ask you if you could make me products without soy because the one product that I looked at that I was going to order from you had soy in it and I can't have soy. And then I'm going to move on to another viewer, a viewer who is calling people up and asking them. And that viewer knows who she is, messaging them, messenger or whatever, um, on the internet, on the YouTube or whatever. Having another YouTuber, asking another YouTuber to unsubscribe to me because I left my house and I went to Walmart. Gee. 
Really? There's no law that says I can't leave my house. We're not under martial law. If I need to go to the store to get something, I'm going to get my happy ass in my car and go get it. I don't have a husband to run errands for me. I'm a single person all by myself. My son is just recovering from cancer. I can't even be close to him right now because him and I both have autoimmune diseases and low immunities. So I don't have anybody to fall back on to run to the store for me or go to the post office for me or go pick up my prescriptions. You're lucky, you're very fortunate that you do have someone, but I don't. And then you criticize me because I went to Walmart? Now maybe you don't have a husband viewer, but the other YouTuber does have a husband, but yet is criticizing me for going out and getting something to eat in a drive-thru, which is totally illegal because if it wasn't, the governor of my state would have told the drive throughs to close down that they weren't allowed to serve us. And yes, there was a straw in my, in my cake shake from Portillo's, but you know what? It had paper on it. It was sterile underneath the paper. Yes, it was sterile underneath the paper. And you didn't see me take the paper off of that straw while I still had my rubber gloves on, my latex gloves on. I don't show you everything because everything is boring. Would you like to watch me wipe my ass? Really? Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm pissed because we're supposed to be standing up for each other. We're not supposed to be putting each other down. Especially when we don't have all the facts. And the viewer to call up one of my friends and ask her to unsubscribe to me because I went to Walmart and I was walking around people? Oh, God forbid. Really? I am self-quarantined in my RV away from everybody except my dog. And I'm the only one to go to the store and get what I need. I'm the only one. I can't, I can't draw my own blood and send it to the lab. And now, in case I need to report to the YouTube cops and the viewer cops out there, I am going to pick up my prescription at CVS. I have to go through the drive-through. Should I show you how I have my gloves on when I pick up my prescription? Is that really necessary? Do I really need to account to you? Do you account to me? Who made you fucking boss? That I have to show you every time I put on gloves or use hand sanitizer. You criticize me. Yeah, I'm pissed. People, mind your business. Do what's good for you. I'll do what's good for me. Because even though I've never met you personally, I thought we were fellow YouTubers with the, with the best interest in mind for all YouTubers out there. I guess I was wrong. That's too bad. So I'm at the pharmacy drive up. And this young man, he's got his gloves on and he closed the window while he's processing. I, I was so kind. I even spritzed my debit card for him. But see, normally I don't show you all that stuff because, you know, I'm like, really? Why should I have to? I don't have to account to anybody. But I guess I need to account to the YouTuber who is judging me. And I guess I have to account to the viewer 
who is judging me and calling people up or sending people messages telling them to unsubscribe to me because I went to Walmart during the virus to get necessary needed items for me. Thank you so much. Yeah, be safe. So, I got my meds, and I guess it's really important that I show you this because you see, like, this is a life or death thing that I have to take these pills every day. Yeah. So, I got my pills out. So, I got my little. 90% alcohol spritzer. And I'm going to trust CVS that they didn't touch these pills with their hands. What else could I do? I can't spray down every pill, YouTuber. Or it would melt. And since I am a Professional, let me show you exactly how you should be taking off your gloves. <clears throat> they teach you this in EMT school, which I went, I was an instructor for EMTs for the American uh, Heart Association and the Red Cross. You take this thing with your thumb and you pull the glove inside out. And so not to contaminate, hold this inside your hand like this. Go underneath the glove and keep the other glove inside. And now the inside is clean. And throw this in the garbage. In this case, I'm gonna throw it in my CVS bag. I've already spritzed with alcohol and put that in a garbage. And just to be extra safe, yep, I'm gonna use my hand sanitizer. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. God bless everybody. Please be safe out there. I love you, loyal viewers. And if by some chance you decide to unsubscribe to me because I went to Walmart and because I went to get my prescription at CVS, then I will miss you very much as a viewer. And I hope you choose not to. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.